Hello and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Morgana here and today I've got a simple summer landscape painting demo for you, complete with a clear blue sky and a flock of high flying swifts. This was painted on some pre-stretched Saunders Waterford hot press paper. To watch the paper stretching video demo that I've done, you can follow the link below to sign up for my Patreon page where that video will be available to watch tomorrow. Huge thanks and appreciation to those of you who already have. Once the paper was prepped, I sprayed it with a little clean water before adding colour. Today I'm doing a variation of the popular card swipe technique for applying the first layer of paint uh, but instead of a card I'm using a tool called the catalyst wedge. This is such a handy little thing and if you like the look of it then you can watch Lois's full video featuring the catalyst wedge as a tool for painting expressive and beautiful watercolours which I'll also pop a link to below the video. The paints that I'm using today are sap green, sepia, twin gold and perylene green with a little Windsor blue green shade for the sky. All colours are by Windsor and Newton. Picking up your board and tipping it carefully around at various angles can help spread colour across the paper, especially if you add a little extra water with a spray bottle. For me this Windsor Blue paint is just perfect for a summer sky. It is an incredibly strong colour though so do be careful to only use a small amount with plenty of water to create a subtle wash of pale blue. I'm using some leftover mixed paint as well to add a little deeper colour into the foreground. I find that doing this helps to maintain the colour harmony across the painting 
and helps me to resist the urge to start grabbing new colours at random to start adding from my paint box. A palette knife is also a really handy tool to keep nearby. I use it here to remove some of the excess thick paint from the paper as well as using the tip to carefully scrape in a little detail into the wet paint. Just be careful not to apply too much pressure when you're doing this so you don't damage the soft watercolour paper. Once the first layer of colour is all fully dry, it's time to add some detail. Here I'm using a small flat brush to create some fence posts and then going to use my sword liner brush which has a nice fine point to connect them up. To add interest and balance out the foreground as well, I'm also using my sword liner to add some simple waving summer grasses. I'm using mostly sap green for this, tempered with a little bit of sepia just to make it look a bit more earthy. I'm adding some birds just to finish the painting off and today's bird of choice is the swift or rather mini swifts as these birds tend to congregate and feed together in flocks. Of course you can add any birds you like into your finished painting or no birds at all if it takes your fancy um, but this turned into such a lovely summer scene and for me swifts are just the essence of a summer sky as well as being fun and interesting to paint. And this is the finished painting. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm so pleased with how this scene turned out and I particularly love this flock of high flying swifts. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. Thank you all very much for watching and remember if you do want to see my video demo on stretching watercolour paper you can follow the link below to my Patreon page and to watch Lois's video using the catalyst wedge follow the other link in the video description below. 
Thanks again, everybody. Have a wonderful week and wishing you all very happy painting.